have the necessary backup and the proposals from each of those who had submitted a proposal to make an educated decision. Uh, and I'm concerned that we have some new commissioners here who don't have that backup. And I myself didn't have the backup on the other proposals that were submitted. So, um, you know, I'm just expressing my frustration again that I feel like deja vu because I went through this before where I didn't have the information that they needed. Did you request the proposals from the commission this time around? Always requested backup for the agenda. I have two pages to make this decision, and okay. it's for me, it's not enough. Okay. Any other comments? What a. You, you said, Pete, that uh, you rate the, the companies based on their past performance? Yes, we actually look, we actually went a little further, uh, and I, think, I can go into it. We have some information regarding the percentage collections of, of another firm, and, um, and, and actually the collections, and, and I was speaking from another uh, in other words, this is, this is information that came from, from the county. County, by the way, collects all the all the uh, taxes, uh, uh, and only really all the entities here in Brownsville, except maybe there are a few at the island that they're, at the school district in Port Isabel, I believe, collects their own. Uh, but there's a, the majority of the uh, entities are actually collected by Cameron Counties, and they're most all of the all of the uh, law firms, same law firm collects the income tax for most for most agencies. Actually, the, there's only two entities that request. Uh, additional law firms and that school district and, and the city of Brownsville. All the others like the UTB, TSC, they all, whatever the county selects, that's what they go for. Um, but we, we did have an analysis as to the other, there's another firm that was collecting property taxes from the, uh, the income taxes from the school district. And, and we, know, we noticed that the percentages that were being collected were a little bit lower than what uh, the firm of, uh, of uh, Goggin uh, had. So that was one of the decisions that we made. We want to look at what, what's the best thing for the taxpayer. And we want to obviously we want the, the, the most collections and delinquencies. And uh, so far, they've, they've, they've delivered the last few years. So, and, and again, it doesn't cost the city a single cent with this. I just remember three years ago, all the firms came up and they did a presentation, an extensive presentation on their services and some history and references, and we just didn't get that this time, so I was wondering why it changed. Well, we can certainly do it now they're here, our commission. We can open it up there. I'm sure they can, they can come and make a presentation. Right? Now, we have until uh, the deadline is, is July 1st. We, can, we have another meeting, but that means that we go out for proposals again, or... We do have a committee. A committee is, is, is uh, independent of anybody, uh, uh, and I, I feel very comfortable with our, with our decision. Now, we do have some committee members here that you want, they want to talk with, with Josie, or... So I came to, I was on the committee, and I can tell you that every committee member uh, did an awful lot of work going through the proposals and evaluating the, uh, uh, the, the folks that applied for it, and it was pretty, it was a unanimous decision that we recommended this commission that we go with the line barter firm. Uh, basically for the reasons that are outlined, they've been doing it for years, uh, they're here in town, and they have a proven track record. Um. Um, so you're telling me that for the taxpayer, let's say they're delinquent or not, the, the smallest fee that would be incurred to them is by who? Pardon me? The smallest, okay, let's say somebody owes taxes. Yes, ma'am. What is the smallest fee? Which which company pulls the smallest fee? Well, the smallest percentage fee would be with Mr. Pena's firm. But the other thing to take into account is there are also court costs and other things that all taxpayers would have to pay. And I did a calculation, and I don't remember exactly how it came out, but at a certain point in time, because of the way the fixed costs were set up, uh, the uh, uh, Linebarger firm at a 15% fee actually came out cheaper for the taxpayer. 15%. And what's the cap? What's the, what's the, there's a state statute or state law, right? There's yeah, the cap. maximum they can charge is 20%. 20%. So 
So you're saying that line barter is better for the taxpayer? Yeah. Yes. So for the city, I, I, I think what you guys are looking at, you have three excellent law firms. Uh, and so, so what you do is the committee has to, to be able to assess this whole deal is they've got a sliding scale. And, um, you know, whoever the point system kind of indicates, I think, is what you guys, that's your recommendation just based upon that. That's but they're, but they're, all, they're all good law firms. I mean, they, yeah, they don't, I don't. Agree. What, what we looked at, basically, the objective was which law firm can do the best job for the city of Brownsville. It's, it's how to maximize your recovery, that's yeah. all. Do I hear any motion or? We're all kind of stuck. Do we want to table it for the next meeting so we can get presentations? Well, I do have a question. What, I do remember the presentations. Why not the presentations this time? Or why did we do the presentations last time but not this time? Just because. Part of it last time was the first time the city had gone out to hire its own tax collection lawyers. Oh, Previously okay. under the contract, we I didn't realize that. Before, before that, the county did it. I did. So, I mean, I, I'm familiar with all the law firms. And, so, I mean, and, and like I had, said. If memory serves me, we had six or seven firms apply last time around. This time, just three. And, you know, since we've gone through it once before, we I think the committee felt a little bit more comfortable going through the process and making a recommendation. Okay, well, uh, Commissioner, what is your pleasure? Either have a motion uh, or if nothing happens. I guess we, have, we don't have a motion before us. Robert's Rules of Order, I guess we can go on to the next item. Um, I make a motion to table. It seems like nobody's ready to make any motion. Okay, I'm ready to make a motion. It's just well, this commission needs to decide. Well, there's, a motion, there's, a motion, there's a motion to table. On the floor, is there a second? Second. Uh, all those in favor of the, of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Um, the motion at the table carries. So we'll table it for today. Thank you. We can make the presentations next time around. Yeah, I, I, Pete, I think you should get together with the commissioners that have some questions, and perhaps maybe the next time we uh, do presentations, so that's what their wishes are. Okay. Number 21. 